Hey guys, Front of the Night here, bringing you episode one of a new series, and hold on, shut up. Um, no, no music right now, I'm talking. All called Bear With Me. Now, I actually played this game a little bit. I tried to record an episode, and there was something wrong with my mic. I had the dial of my headset down. This is a recent headset, mind you, so I'm kind of still getting used to it, and I didn't realize... And I thought I had the volume dial when it was really my mic dial, and I dialed it down low enough that I was inaudible in the video. The game was much louder than I was, so I, like, recorded 40 minutes of this game and couldn't use the footage because I was just too quiet. So, anyway, this is kind of a different game. This is more of a storytelling game, so I'm not going to be able to speak much during this game. But since I kind of know what to do, I don't know how long the episodes are going to be, but I also kind of want to derp around a bit because they have some witty remarks sometimes when you click on an object that doesn't have anything to do with the story but they have some nice puns in this game so it's been like a couple weeks since I got this game and so we'll just hop right into it and you guys will see what it's like I guess and the doors open kind of got a nor theme to it or nah, it's not nor I can't pronounce the French word but it has a very interesting atmosphere And now I'm awake. So this is a point and click game. So I can't use any of the keys and yet I still try. I'm like currently pressing the D king thing I'm gonna move. But really, you just click the move. So I'm assuming you're the person that's going to be talking to me. So wait, talk. Please. Just talk to the giraffe. It seems you had a nightmare. I see. There was a nightmare. There was a dude in red and whatnot, so I don't really remember. There was this fire. Yeah, but I can handle nightmares. How are we going to have this girl speak? Well, let's just There let's was confess. this fire and black smoke was coming from the windows. Funny thing is, it didn't feel scary to me, like I wasn't really there. Was it Paper City? No, I don't think so. What are you doing here, Millie? Are you alright? Oh no, miss. Something terrible is happening down in Paper City. I came here as soon as I could. I wanted to warn you and your brother not to go there, but when we arrived, I could only find you. What do you mean? Miss, I'm afraid your brother is missing. I have to go find Flint. Millie, you stay here and rest. I'll come and check up on you later. Please, before you go around looking for your brother, miss, Go and find Mr. Bear and ask him to come along. He's retired now, but he was always so fond of you. I'm sure he'll help you out. He may not be an easygoing man, but he has a kind heart. Ted? I know where he is. He has a small office in my closet, but Ted and I, we can't work together anymore. Mostly because I'm still smart and driven and he's become a burnout. I haven't Dang. seen him since he left the city. But whatever falling out you two had, I beg you to reconcile. So, because she's a nice giraffe, I would be nice to her. Okay, Millie, I'll go ask him. But I'm not sure if he'll even hear me out. We left off on a really bad note. It's a shame you two aren't working together anymore. You were always such good friends. But for your sake, miss, Please, don't go wandering around alone. There is something else I haven't told you about. The reason I came all the way down here. There is this man that came down to Paper City a week ago. He's asking a lot of questions about you. What man? We call him the Red Man. There were a lot of fires down in the city this past week, ever since he showed up. 
The officials are burying their heads in the sand while this man has an entire city. Your city, miss, cowering in fear. Well, Paper City Police Department isn't known for its heroic head-on approach to crime fighting. The mayor and the commissioner have issued a citywide lockdown until all of this is sorted out. A lot of people are escaping the city. We managed to escape through the East Tunnel's maintenance route, but most of the exits are closed off now. You said we escaped. Is someone else here with you? The Mugshot Boys helped me through the East Tunnel. Bless their hearts. We arrived at Flint's room, but he wasn't there, so I came here to wake you up. I have to go now, Millie. I'll be back as soon as I can to come check on you. Do you need anything? I'm fine, little miss. I just need to rest, is all. Please, before you go out, find Mr. Bear and ask him to come along. What day did the clock actually move? It's not working, but that's okay. I can't tell the time anyways. Oh. You, you sure it's not moving? I could have sworn it just moved. Like, you sure it's not working? Maybe just flinched in place. See, now I'm going to be watching that clock. But for now... Oh, dang it! I looked at the closet when it moved again. I think it just flinches in place. That's... That's that's disappointing, though. I was actually hoping that it moved. But where's the second hand, anyway? Like, how would you tell time? No wonder you can't tell time. It's only one hand. Whatever. Let's go in the closet. It looks like a very crude office. Amber Ashworth, if I had a nickel for every time this broad got me into trouble, I'd be neck deep in nickels oh, right dang. now. Something was different this time. I could feel it in the air. Someone really put the scares on her. Despite her fragile appearance, Amber's a tough kid, so it was unusual to see her like this. She starts talking, and I start pretending I don't care. I told her I'm retired, for good this time. It fell on deaf ears again. Anyway, she starts talking about Millie, Paper City, her brother, and all that jazz. And I'm wondering how many times we've gone through this before. You see, we have this routine where she asks me for help, as she always does, and I play hard to get, as I always do. Eventually I give in. We've done this so many times I've lost count. She knows the drill, and so do I. Might as well just hear her out. Her words Thank ring through my office. They get stuck in this haze around my head, and then... They get lost in the cold autumn rain outside, tapping on my window in this hypnotic manner. It's calming in a way, or is it the booze that makes me calm? I swear it's carrot juice, not booze. Not much to do when you're retired, and hobbies were never my cup of tea. I know her standing in my doorway with her lady in distress shtick means bad news for me, and yet I know... I'm in for it again. Sure that's booze? The sun is slowly setting and the rain gets heavy. The news said there will be a storm tonight. Nah, I'm too focused on the booze. 